Scott Brown. Yeah. Look, I don't care what kind of truck Scott Brown drives. I don't care how he describes himself in TV ads. I care about how he votes. Does Scott Brown stand with working people? Or does, he, or does he stand with big money and his Republican buddies? Well, let's look at how he votes. Scott Brown voted against funding for summer jobs and voted twice to let the interest rate on student loans double. Double. Last fall, with almost a quarter of a million people out of work here in Massachusetts, Scott Brown voted against three jobs bills. When some of us were working to rein in Wall Street, Scott Brown was personally negotiating to weaken the rules and give the big banks a $19 billion break. Scott Brown co-sponsored a bill to let employers block coverage for routine cancer screenings and birth control. And Scott Brown voted to limit the EPA's authority and repeatedly voted to give billions in subsidies to big oil companies. Okay. We know where Scott Brown stands. And it is not with the people of Massachusetts. But we also know where we stand. We stand for families. We believe in making investments in education and building a future for our kids. investing in clean energy jobs. We stand for working people. We believe in the right to unionize and in collective bargaining. We should not forget, 
about where Scott Brown stands. He wants to see Mitt Romney get elected to the White House and Mitch McConnell take over the Senate. We have seen where the Republicans want to drive this country, and it is ugly. We stand with President Obama. Scott Brown. Whoever he once was, I can tell you who he is now. Scott Brown is a Wall Street Republican. A big oil Republican. A Mitt Romney Republican. Republican plan to win? His answer is to talk about anything except how he voted on jobs, education, the environment, oil subsidies, or special deals for Wall Street. Yeah. 